instead of going around and tweeting exclusively about what the media will not cover, as was so eloquently expressed by uh, Mike Pence yesterday, um, the WikiLeaks leaks, the things that Podesta has said, that Hillary has said about black people, about Latinos, about, I mean, Catholics, right on down the line, instead of hammering and hammering, you know, Trump's tweeting about how they, they, it's, the, the election is rigged, voter fraud. Uh, I mean, it, it just seems so off message. What good does, uh, what, what could voters do about a rigged election even if they believed him? Yeah, I agree with you completely. But Steve, there's one other thing that you got to keep your eye on, and we've talked about this a couple of times before on your show. There may be an October surprise coming from Putin. If you've been watching the escalation of the war of words between Obama and Putin uh, over hacking American email servers, particularly of Democratic politicians, has escalated sharply. And just recently, Obama literally threatened cyber war with Russia uh, if they should try to influence the election by hacking American political systems, uh, email systems. Now, that can only mean that they're worried that he has Hillary's deleted emails and that he's planning to dump them before the election, some say November 1st. Now, the reason that, uh, that uh, Obama's piling on like this, and the CIA leaked to NBC News that he had asked them for cyber warfare options, the reason they're doing that is to deter Putin from releasing anything more that he has. But they're also hoping that if Putin does release them, despite their threats, that they can then spin that issue and make it, oh, Russia's intervening in a U.S. election. Why does Putin like Trump? Uh, and isn't it horrible that they're ganging up on Hillary? As opposed to what should be the issue, which is we will then have proof positive that Hillary endangered the national security by having a private server, that it was hacked, that it was hacked by our worst enemy. And in the course of that, our worst enemy got every single one of our major national secrets that was entrusted to the Secretary of State. That's a hell of a story. Wow. And they're trying to live it down now by creating a back rationale that Putin favors Trump because Trump likes Putin and he's intervening in the U.S. election, which is a no-no. And I think that dynamic that's going on is proof that they believe Putin has those emails up his sleeve.